El Paso County's process of appointing attorneys to represent the poor in court has serious issues. That's according to a report by the Texas Indigent Defense Commission. Commissioner's court asked for a review of the process earlier this year. The report states there are problems with the time it takes for a person to, assi to be assigned a court-appointed attorney, and a large number of cases are being assigned to only a few public defenders. According to the report, only 10% of the attorney pool was handling nearly half of the clients in certain types of cases. This means 19 attorneys were handling nearly 2,600 cases. District Attorney Jaime Esparza says the county is making progress. County Commissioner Vince Bettes is concerned. Um, so that's something that is very concerning. We want to ensure that everybody who does request counsel um, um, is qualified and that the judge rules on that uh, promptly uh, and that that attorney that, that is appointed to there is appointed at random or in a fair process that everyone agrees upon and that the time frame that the attorney goes and visits the client as quickly as possible. I think that uh, the fact that the commission came down, the fact that the commission looked at what we were doing was a good idea. It's unfortunate they, that we have some concerns, but I also think that the judges have been responsible and made some corrective action. The Council on Ju of Judges, which oversees the appointment of public defenders, tells ABC7 the report focused on the old system in place during fiscal year 2013. It says a new process to appoint public defenders went into effect September 1st. County Commissioner Vince Bettis tells ABC7 that in some cases, defendants who requested attorneys were never assigned one and ultimately waived the right to an attorney in order to be able to move forward with a trial. This angered government watchdog Lisa Turner, who said Commissioner's Court is not doing anything to fix the problem. It amazed me. I found out that people had requested a lawyer and they were not provided one. The district attorney's office, I guess, forced them into signing some kind of plea. The judges passed on the plea and I guess they were found guilty. Where do we get off doing this? How in the hell does this happen? When a person asks for representation and they don't get it, Ms. Ms. Turner, I have to correct you. The Commissioner's Court is not doing nothing. I don't know if you've been watching over the last several months, but that audit was requested by a member of Commissioner's Court. I understand. And during budget, and if, this Commissioner's and if Court. That Commissioner, thank you, Commissioner Perez. If he hadn't have done it, we would still be going down the same old path, people being denied their constitutional rights. County Judge Veronica Escobar defended the work of Commissioner's Court, saying the problems plaguing the system cannot be fixed overnight. The county has until January 31st to respond in writing to 11 recommendations made by the Texas Indigent Defense Commission.